Today we're going to go over the jerk, how to kind of get into the position going from never doing this to now hopefully doing this as we add the clean in too. There's three types of ways that we can jerk the bar. There is a squat jerk, there is a power jerk, and there is a split jerk. Uh, typically what we see the vast majority of people do is the split jerk. So we're going to go ahead and go into that um, because it's more forgiving. Find your leg position here, your lead leg. What I typically do is this. Good. So she has stumbled forward with that right foot. So go ahead and pop your right foot forward. Good. And with her left foot, her back leg, she's going to go back more. Nice. From here, she's going to go wider in between her legs. Now how wide? Enough to where if I push and wobble her, she can recover, right? In this position, her back knee is bent, so that way her weight can drop straight down in between her legs. Her front foot is way out there, so that way if there's any forward motion of the bar, she can help recover that. Heel is up, that's fine, and her front foot, all of the weight is flush on her foot. It's almost as if she's pointing her pinky toe wherever she's looking at, so the front foot is a little bit cocked in. To recover from this position, she's going to go front foot first and then back foot. We showed the bottom position of the split jerk and how to recover from that. Now we have to get there real quick. So you're going to hear a lot of noise whenever you do this correctly. So Phoebe, what I want you to do is this. I want you to dip your knees, hold your chest up, and then slam your feet into that final position. Good. Recover. Nice and we hear that noise of her front foot slapping, right? Um, another cue to kind of help think about where your feet need to go, you're gonna crush a bug right in front of you with your front heel, and with that back foot, you're gonna kick a door down, right? So that way you're slamming in that final position. So from here, we're gonna add the bar back into it. She's gonna take her normal clean grip, so go ahead and do that, nice. And right there with her stance. So the bar is on her shoulders, right on the meat of the deltoids, we're just gonna talk about that dip that I was mentioning earlier with the split. So with your chest, bring it up towards the ceiling, create a nice shelf, just like that. And I want you to just to bend your knees a little bit, but keep your chest straight. Good, and then dip with it. Come right back up. So don't pause in the bottom, so just bounce and then come back up, good. As you're doing this step, you're gonna think about showing and exposing your chest, right? Because your arms aren't really used in the jerk. Um, they are used in sort of keeping the bar in this position, but in the motion itself, that is your legs, your back, all the musculature of the body being implemented through your shoulders to help jerk it off the shoulders. So now she understands that her chest needs to be up. She's dipping, nice. We're gonna add the split back into it. So now the sequence is this. She's gonna bring her chest up, she's gonna dip and then stomp. Go ahead. Okay. Now recover, and let's start speeding it up. Don't pause in the bottom of the dip. Exactly, good. So again, good, and recover. Good. As you're going through this, you should be thinking of the sequence of holding my chest, dipping, and then driving. Make sure your eye position is in a nice focal point, straight ahead. Um, you have your elbows up in a nice shelf and you're doing everything correctly in terms of making the bar stable on your chest as you're dipping down. <laughs>